New tonight at five, a species of bat that was always thought to be a Rhode Islander, if you will, but has never been seen, has now officially been spotted here, and that has people who pay attention to that type of stuff very excited. Tim Studebaker spoke with the state's bat biologist about why this find is so significant. State biologists have long thought that if they looked around enough, eventually they'd find the elusive eastern small-footed bat somewhere in Rhode Island, and now they have. Jennifer Brooks is the state's bat biologist and volunteer program coordinator with the DEM's Department of Fish and Wildlife. They're kind of a cryptic species. Uh, they tend to hide kind of under like like rocky uh, ledges or just like even like piles of rocks. The DEM's bat program began in 2010 while white nose syndrome was wiping out bat populations. By studying where they live, what they eat, and how they move around, biologists can understand a lot about our region's ecosystem. They're a huge um, uh, predator of like pest insects. So um, mosquitoes, which can cause disease and just, you know, general annoyance. And then also um, they save the agricultural um, in industry about 1 billion in, in North America every year. Back in 2016, they picked up on what they believed at the time to be the bat's unique call signature. We have special um, equipment that actually records those calls. They're too high or too low for human ears. But at the time, they couldn't visually confirm it was the eastern small-footed bat. Now, six years later, Brooks has just recently taken over the role of state bat biologist, and she and her predecessor finally made the discovery together. Really cool to actually finally see one in person. Um, you know, we've been looking for 12 years. Now that they know for sure the species is here in Rhode Island, they're going to look for more. It's really important to just kind of have that basic understanding of just, you know, what we have now so that if we do see fluctuations in populations, you know, we'll know that there's something going on. Tim Studebaker, ABC6 News.